We have to cross this plane to get to the other side of the trench. It looks pretty spooky, but I know we can do it. We just passed a hotel. Can't we stay there for a while? No, Patrick. We have to get to Shell City. We don't have much time left. Whoa! The stench! Smells like feet. Yeah, it does. It's horrible. Oh, I kind of liked it. If the fog gets any thicker, it's going to be tough to see where we're going. All right, you seem a little nervous. I'm lost. I need to get to the other side of this trench, and I can't find my way. Hey, I need to cross the trench, too. Maybe I can help you. I really doubt it. I mean, I've been stuck out here for days. The fog is too thick to see very far. You'll get just as lost as I am. This fog is pretty bad, huh? Yeah. You need a lighthouse to cross this place without getting hopelessly lost. Have you noticed all the strangely shaped coral formations around here? Those are skulls. Well, whatever they're called, aren't they pretty? They're dreadful. That's not a very positive attitude. I'm gonna go. Sure. Whatever. It's too foggy to see. I could get eaten by a crew. Look at those rocks just sitting there. They think they're so cool. Hotel Deep Six. Not exactly five star from the look of it. It is indeed. Oh, indeed it is. Isn't this sort of an odd place for such a swank hotel? What can I tell you? Speculative real estate is a risky business. And I got this place for a song. The land was an old oyster bed. Nobody would touch it. I demand room service. Two Krabby Patties to my room immediately. You don't have a room. Well then, I demand mouth service. Two Krabby Patties to my mouth immediately. How about lip service? I think I could accommodate your gracious and noble personage there, sir. Are you insulting me? Because if you are, you do it better than anyone I've ever met. If that is truth, then my life was not in vain. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. You can say that again! And I still won't understand it. 
Are you all right, ma'am? You seem upset. No, I'm not all right, as a matter of fact. Somebody stole my pearls last night from right out of this very room. And whoever it was left this strange orb in its place. I'm in a state of shock. Pearls, huh? Patrick, what do you think? I think it's a job for Detective SpongeBob and Inspector Storm. Me too. Never fear, madam. We have never lost a case or even taken on a case. In either case, we have a perfect record to be brief. Oh, dear. We will investigate this matter fully. Search every nook and cranny for clues, just in case. Be all over this place like a cheap suit. Case. I, I don't know what to say. Inspector Star, we must keep our eyes peeled. Give everything a long, hard look. If people think we're rude, so be it. If staring will solve this crime, then we shall stare. Case. <laughs> Staircase. May we ask you some questions about the incident? I suppose so. Was your door locked last night? Yes, I lock it when I go to sleep. I leave it unlocked otherwise, assuming people will be courteous enough to knock before barging in. Apparently, I was wrong on that count. When was the last time you saw your pearls? Last night. I'm not sure what time, but they were on the table next to the lantern. I don't know how someone could have gotten in here without me hearing them. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Yes, a pleasant mindless break for me as well. Stay out here. Why? I, uh, I, I'm afraid of caves. But you live under a rock. And? Well, I mean, a cave, a rock. Are you saying my house is like a cave? Well, not really. Uh, slightly cave-ish, maybe. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Okay, okay, have it your way. Wait here, I won't be long. Not be lost when one is at home. I am Charles Oscar William Piedmont Augustus Winthorpe, and the world is my backyard. From the Marianas Trench to the Great Barrier Reef, wherever I go, home follows. Are you a superhero? No, I am an explorer. Pretty long introduction for someone who's not a superhero. Did you know your initials are Cowpaw? Yes, it is a fact that the baser intellect never fails to point out. And people say I have a silly name. Do they? How interesting. What is this cave? This is the entrance to the Crustacean Caverns, an ancient set of caves that protect the focusing orb. Orb, huh? Yes. Neat. It's more than neat. The focusing orb points out safe passage through the abyssal plains. They're quite impossible to cross without consulting it. Ooh, the abyssal plains. That's where we need to go. Well, in that case, you'll need to get past the corridors of confusion. Corridors of confusion, huh? Yes, and beyond them, you must consult the Pool of Perception. And then finally, the Doors of Deception. Did you make up these names? Possibly, but I assure you, they are most descriptive. Tell me about the Corridors of Confusion. 
They are a series of passages. Each one glows a different color. And in order to pass them, you must enter them in the order that they light up. Sounds kind of silly. Yeah, it is kind of silly now that you mention it. But it's the only way to get to the pool of perception. Tell me about the pool of perception. It's a pool deep in the heart of the cavern that, legend has it, tells you your future when you gaze into it. I can tell you your future if you like. I see years of therapy. Hey, I didn't make up the legend. Tell me about the doors of deception. I don't know much about them. I have not, as yet, had the privilege of studying their legends. I'm sure they're quite dangerous. Good luck with your expedition. I've gotta go. Yes, off with you. Hi, I don't remember your name. I expect you get that a lot. Charles Oscar William Piedmont Augustus Winthorpe. Good luck with your expedition. I've got to go. Yes, off with you. I thought that guy said there'd be lights in here. Welcome to the confounding corridors of Crustacean Caverns. Follow the lights, or you will surely be lost. Whoa! Easy on the reverb there, Ringo. Enter each corridor in the order it lights up. A mistake will lead you back to the beginning. Only through concentration can you hope to make it to the inner sanctum of the Crustacean Caverns. Uh, okay. Guess I'd better pay attention. Hi, I don't remember your name. I expect you get that a lot. Charles Oscar William Piedmont Augustus Winthorpe. Good luck with your expedition. I've got to go. Yes, off with you. Pretty sure I've got more of it than some old fogey. Who can argue with that logic? Say, nice swimming pool. That is not a swimming pool. That is the pool of perception. Looking into its depths gives you a vision of your own future. Is it heated? No. Well then, call it whatever you like. I call it lame. Charming. So, the future, huh? Yes, but you must be careful. Each time you look into the pool, 
You look further and further into your own future. That can be dangerous. Dangerous, huh? Yes. Knowing your own future can destroy an individual's sense of free will. Free will, huh? Yes. The temptation to contradict what you see as your own future can cause a person to do drastic things. Drastic, huh? You aren't understanding anything I'm saying, are you? Understanding, huh? Forget it. Say, you wouldn't by any chance know a way to cross the Abyssal Plains, would you? Actually, I do. The inner sanctum lies beyond the doors here. In it is a device that uses sunlight to illuminate a path through the fog of the Abyssal Plains. Right! I am so there! I cannot let you in. The focusing orb has been stolen. Those doors must remain locked until the orb has returned. Focusing orb? Yes, it aims and intensifies the light. The inner sanctum does not function without it. It would be of no use to you. Who stole it? I don't know. Nobody can get to the inner sanctum without passing by me, and nobody did. But if you can find it, I will allow you passage beyond these doors. Wow, things are getting stolen left and right around here. Weird, huh? What? What things have been stolen? Well, I was just at the Hotel Deep Six, and someone stole this old lady's pearls. She was almost as old as you, if you can believe that. Pearls? That is quite odd. The focusing orb looks a lot like a pearl. Strange. Well, nice talking to you. Personally, the conversation has renewed my interest in taking a vow of silence. William Piedmont Augustus Winthorpe. Can you possibly lend me your flashlight? Well, I suppose you can borrow it. Now don't break it. It is precious. Gimme, give gimme! Give Use it well. Good luck with your expedition. I've gotta go. Yes, off with you.
better. Say, it looks like there's another room under here. I wonder how I can get there. Maybe the manager knows. luck with which I've been graced. Someone fanned me, I may faint. Do you know one of your tenants had some pearls stolen from her? Yes, Victoria Ellen in room one. How could I not know she has made quite a stink about it? Well, well, well. We have come to a conclusion from our investigation. Pray tell I'm all ears. Can't wait to hear it. There is something living under the hotel that comes in through holes in the floors of your rooms. I think this creature may have taken Mrs. Ellen's pearls. No, it can't be. I knew something like this might happen. Something like what? Well, when I bought the land for this hotel, there was an old oyster bed here. I didn't think it would make a difference, but maybe, just maybe. Oysters, huh? May I have permission to check under the hotel? Oh, yes, this is all my fault. Check, check. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. with all the tenants to see if they'd like a complimentary mint with their next meal. You don't look like you're with room service, although I bet you can clean a mean dish. That, sir, is out of line, but true. I'm looking into the disappearance of some pearls. Oh, yeah? Nice. So what's it got to do with me? Well, I was hoping I could ask you some questions about it. Mm, fine. Only well, don't take too long. I'm a busy guy. Lots of irons in the fire, you know? I stayed in. It was kind of stormy last night. Kicked up all sorts of fog over the plains. I didn't want to get caught out there. You didn't leave your room at all? I didn't say that. I said I stayed in. I went to the lobby and read a magazine for a while. May have wandered around the halls a bit, but I didn't leave the hotel. Did you see anything or anyone suspicious while you were walking around? Not particularly. The manager was asleep at his desk. Aside from him, I didn't run into anybody was asleep at his desk? Yeah, snoring quite loudly, in fact. Made it difficult to read. I almost woke him up, but on second thought, realized he's even more annoying when he's awake. Anything else you can think of that might help? Nothing unusual happened last night at all? Well, now that you mention it, I heard quite a bit of noise before I went to sleep, coming from beneath the floorboards. Sounded like something dragging. Dragging sound? That's what I said. Do you know what all these holes in the floor are? I don't know what caused them, but the other day I saw an oyster pop out of one of them. It must have seen me, because it ducked back inside immediately. I see. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I've been graced. Someone fanned me, I may think. Well, well, well. We have come to a conclusion from our investigation. Pray tell I'm all ears. Can't wait to hear it. There is something living under the hotel that comes in through holes in the floors of your rooms. I think this creature 
may have taken Mrs. Ellen's pearls. No, it can't be. I knew something like this might happen. Something like what? Well, when I bought the land for this hotel, there was an old oyster bed here. I didn't think it would make a difference, but maybe, just maybe. Oysters, huh? May I have permission to check under the hotel? Oh yes, this is all my fault. Check, check. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. It's an oyster bed. Wow, this little guy sure has collected a lot of stuff. Those holes must lead to the hotel rooms. They really should get them corked. Look like Mrs. Ellen's string of pearls. The little guy must have thought they were his. I'd better return them to her. the holes in your floor and made off with them. I boxed him on his ears and sent him to bed without supper. He shan't darken your door again. Oh, thank you so very much, young man. These were a gift from my darling first husband, Edward. They mean so much to me. Ask her about the reward. Ask her about the reward. Patrick, that isn't very polite. Oh, sorry. Please ask her about the reward. Please ask her about the reward. Well, you boys certainly deserve a reward. Here, take this orb. I don't need it now that I have my pearls back. Hooray! A reward! another puzzle before getting to the inner sanctum. Once you have passed it, place the orb on the pedestal. Then the fog will lift. Great! Thank you, O oh Ancient One. I'm 52. Wow! And I thought only Coral lived that long. Looks familiar. Welcome to the confounding corridors of Crustacean Caverns, Part 2. The Revenge. Part 1 was way better. Follow the lights, or you will surely be lost. 
Here we go again. the pink door was the right one? It's some kind of crazy pedestal thing. There's a place for something round on top, but there's nothing in it. Mm, that isn't right. It's a bullseye. There's a hole in the center. Looks like it goes outside somewhere. crazy pedestal thing. There's a place for something round on top, but there's nothing in it. It's some kind of crazy pedestal thing. There's a place for something round on top, but there's nothing in it. Having conquered the trench, SpongeBob and Patrick have a swagger in their step, knowing that the worst is behind them. Unfortunately, they do not realize how true that is, for an assassin is stealthily tracking them. Hired by Plankton to stop their meddling, he has been gaining ground on them steadily. I'll get 